recent update with the Google Analytics Summit in 2013 is the way you can track events across your site. A little background, event tracking is when you implement some custom Google Analytics JavaScript code on the source code of your site to track elements that are not normally tracked with Google Analytics. Out of the box, Google Analytics tracks page views, so when the site loads, it tracks that that page has loaded and a visitor is on it. But to track elements such as a download button or a social button or anything that does not reload the page, Google Analytics out of the box won't know that you clicked on it. That's where event tracking comes in. The old way of tracking events is by implementing some custom JavaScript code from Google Analytics onto the source code of your site, wrapping around the elements you want to track. For this example, tracking a video play or the downloads of that video. This old way would require a lot of custom code changes to the source code of your site. The new way released is auto event tracking and Google Tag Manager. So here's an example again. You have a bunch of elements on your page that you want to track because it does not reload the page. And beforehand, you would have to implement the code directly on the source of your site to track all this. But now with Google Tag Manager, it's all done on the interface. So no code changes are required. Google Tag Manager, as a little background, is a free tag management system provided by Google where you can create custom rules and macros to identify the events and elements on your site that you want to track and set up that tracking completely from the interface, not touching the source code of your site at all. Auto event tracking in Google Tag Manager allows marketers to track the things they want to track on their site without messing with the IT and the development team. This allows users to deploy and iterate their measurement campaigns much faster because it puts the power back in the interface side. It also cleans up source code because you don't need as much custom JavaScript all over your site to track everything you need. And the best part is Google Tag Manager will soon be covered under the premium SLA. 